No. Go. Hi there, my name is Pam Sherman. I'm a trainer of 23 years, and today we're gonna do a five minute workout with a slam ball. We are just gonna get started by doing a body weight squat, holding the slam ball. Feet a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. Let's have your toes up in your shoes and all the weight back in your heel. Now, whenever you do a squat, please, please keep that chest up, face me the whole time. Your chest never wants to face the ground. That would be more like a hip hinge than a squat. We're just gonna do a couple just to get warmed up. Since we only have five minutes today, I wanna make sure you get the most bang for your buck. And if you don't have a slam ball, get one. These things are amazing and a great tool for anybody to have at home. Let's just do three more like that. Then we get a little bit more fun. Here's two, here's one. Okay, now we're actually gonna do a slam ball with a low squat. So you want your body to move as one. Come on down and then come up. You don't wanna do this. <laughs> That's a no-no. All at one time, get low and bring it on up. Get low, come on up. It's gonna bounce a little bit. That's all right, you know where it is. Just a few more of these. Just let's go three more. This is a great core exercise as well. Anytime you're squatting, engages your core. Last one, come on up. Now we're gonna do a reverse lunge. I'm gonna turn to the side. I want you to give me a half lunge to start, just so you get the feel of a lunge, okay? All the weights in that front heel. Now you know what we're doing. We're gonna lunge and twist to the other side. Hello, obliques. How are you doing today? Great way to engage your core, uh, not feel how much that lunge actually is challenging your glutes and your quads. We're gonna do two more like that. Here's two and your head always follows the ball. Here's one, come up, shake it out, and let's switch sides. We're gonna start with that little half lunge just to get your body used to that. Just two more. All the weight is always in that front heel. One more. Oh, I did the same leg. Whoops. Other leg. There we go. I was wondering why that hurt so much. See, even professionals mess up. Okay. Now come to the side. When you come stand up, stand up as tall as possible. And in fact, when you stand up, tighten that core because that is working so hard. Just four more like that. Maybe more. I did more on the other side. Okay, we'll do four more from here. Not that we are ever balanced, but just to get close to the same reps. Last one right here. Okay, speaking of balance, this is what we're doing next. The ball is gonna be straight arms, okay? I want your right foot back. You're gonna come down, come up, and bring that ball up over your head and knee up. Come on down and breathe. Up and knee up. We get a lot of things working here. Your hamstring, your glute, your core, your balance, which is always great to work on. As we lose it, <laughs> as we get older, let's just do one more and then we'll switch sides. Up, let's hold it here. Not your breath though, tighten up that core. Three, two, one, come on, let's shake it out. And let's push that, shake it out. Okay, here we go. Left toe back, arms are long and straight, as opposed to holding it up here, I want them long. Come on down, and please know, whenever you're balancing one side, is always gonna be easier and better balanced than the other. Just like one side's always stronger, totally normal. Breathe with me. Tap down when you need to and come back up. Be kind to yourself. Please know that everybody taps down and my right side is far worse than my left. Okay. I'm gonna do just one more on this side and I'm gonna hold it up like the last one. Come on down. Up, hold it up, hold it up, hold it up. Please don't hold your breath. Tighten up that core. Last four, three, two. Let's do a quick little shake out. End with, we're gonna do a side to side. What I want you to do here, keep those knees bent, keep that core tight. Your head is gonna follow the ball. 
This is an amazing core strengthener when you engage your core every moment of this exercise. We're gonna do eight more just like that, just to finish it up. Come on, breathe with me. You got it. Are you sweating? I'm already sweating. Last four right here. Here's four. Here's three. There's two. And one. Thank you so much for taking the time with me today. I hope you got a great workout and hope to see you soon.